Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. Today I wanted to talk to you about something I get asked about all the time, and it's what are the right tools and supplies to do embroidery? What needles do I use? What's the right hoop? How do I transfer my design to fabric? And it can be really difficult when you start a craft and you think you're doing everything right, but you're struggling. It might not be you. It might just be you have one tool that is wrong that's causing you trouble. So I thought it'd be great to put together a penguin and fish embroidery supplies bundle where it has everything you need to get started with embroidery. And I wanted your help today. What would you like to see in that embroidery bundle? I, have a, I know a few things for sure I wanna have in it, but I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. So if you guys could throw a comment below what you would like to see in a penguin and fish embroidery supplies bundle, I would so appreciate it. I want the bundle to be great for you and to have everything that you need in there. So another thing right now is I have a little video for you on my two favorite ways to transfer a design to fabric. One thing you can do is tape, tape your design to a bright window and then you can tape your fabric. You can tape your fabric with some painter's tape directly on top of it. And then you can trace your design directly through the window. I use a water erasable fabric marking pen. And then you can just trace your design right through. One of my favorite tools that I like using to transfer the pattern design to the fabric is this product called Stick and Stitch. It is by Sulky. And what's awesome about this is that I don't have to trace the design when using this product. I can print out a PDF download pattern. I can print it directly to the Stick and Stitch. You peel it off, it sticks on your fabric like a sticker then you can stitch right through it and it comes off in water when you're all done. So here's what it looks like. The back is smooth. We will actually be printing on the rough side. This is the stick and stitch side. So let's run it through the printer. We'll print this directly from my PDF download from my computer. I'm gonna print it directly on to this rough side. All right, so there we go. Uh, now I'm just gonna take a paper scissors and I'm gonna cut out the design uh, just roughly. You don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna cut it so it's at least three quarters of an inch to an inch around the design. And it comes off the backing paper. So we don't need the paper anymore. Then this, we can stick right onto our fabric. So I usually go right in the center. It sticks just like a sticker. There, so once we have that on, uh, then we can just put it in our hoop and get going. So I just really love this way of doing it because look how easy that was. You just print it directly on and you're ready to get started in just, just a few seconds. No tracing involved. When you're done with your embroidery, the sulky stick and stitch comes off in water, which makes things super duper easy. So here we go. Uh, what I like usually doing is having two bowls of water. I uh, start out with one, 
one bowl, and then when that gets dirty, then I will switch to a clean bowl of water. You can also do this by just running it underneath your sink. So here we go. I'm going to just put this in to my bowl of water. And you'll notice after a, a minute or two, the stick and stitch will start to dissolve. See, so it's already coming up off of the fabric. And you wanna just agitate it with your fingers, just slightly, just really loosely. Here you go, see it's starting to dissolve already there. So we're gonna just help it along by gently, gently agitating it with our fingers. And we're gonna go in every stitch. We are gonna to touch every stitch and help it dissolve. You can see it's starting to flake off everywhere. That's perfect, that's what we're going for. So we'll just stay here a while, go over every little bit until we can't see any more of the stick and stitch. So when you think you have most of it off, uh, you can tell that our bowl is getting a little dirty here and some of it is sticking to the fabric. But when you have most of the pieces off and you can barely see it just kind of maybe stuck underneath the stitches a little bit, it's time to go to the cleaner water. So I'm going to switch. Let's just grab this, move this out of the way, and we will switch to our clean bowl of water. So this will help get all the extra little flakes that have stuck to the fabric. It'll help get those flakes off. And then we are gonna just, again, we are gonna go through each stitch and just inspect it to make sure that all of the stick and stitch has dissolved. So there we go, all the stick and stitch is off of our piece. To dry your finished embroidery after you take the stick and stitch off and also to get all the wrinkles out, I press it right after I take the stick and stitch off. So here we are, I have my ironing board. And what I do for embroidery is put a nice fluffy towel on top of the ironing board. I'm gonna flip my embroidery so it's facing downward. And with the, the fluffy towel, that's gonna allow our stitches to sink into the fluff. And when we're done pressing, they won't be flattened. If you would do this on a flat surface, you, all your stitches would get squished. So I'm gonna just lay it on our towel here, have my iron set to dry, and I'm gonna press right on top of the stitches. You can hear it sizzle. And I'm really pushing on it. And again, because I have the fluffy towel, our stitches won't get flattened by me squishing them. So I'm pressing it and this is drying out the embroidery as well as getting it nice and flat. You can already see it's a little lighter right here. That area is drier than the rest of the piece. There we go. It is just about dry and it is nice and flat, our embroidery. And we still have, uh, our stitches are still three-dimensional. They have not been squished because we're using that fluffy towel. So I'm going to just let this air dry a little bit longer, but it's pretty much dry because we are pressing it onto that towel. So we have a finished embroidery. If you know anyone who is struggling with transferring their embroidery design to fabric, I hope you share this video with them. I will be having some more how-to videos coming up. I would love if you signed up to my newsletter below. That's where I will be letting you know when the videos come out. And I will also have more info on the Penguin and Fish Embroidery Supplies Bundle. So sign up below. You will also get a free embroidery pattern for signing up. And thanks again for your comments. Uh, if you haven't commented yet, 
let me know what you would like to see in an embroidery supplies bundle. So thank you, and I will catch you tomorrow.